Hey, Facebook land, what is happening? Happy Thursday. It's my Friday. Can't wait. Actually, it's everyone's Friday, isn't it? Because everyone's got tomorrow off. Ooh. So, today, conversation. I'm so, so loving being back in the zone of genius that I have, that I love uh, with all of you and sharing conversations that I've been having, seeing, and witnessing. And um, I'm bringing this stuff because I think it's just stuff you need to think about. Today's conversation is why take the long road? Hmm. When it comes to health and wellness, so many of us decide that we want to battle on and we battle on or we deal with stuff or we put up with stuff that's not what we really want. Like we put up with the sore back, we put up with the aching legs, we put up with that niggling feeling until it's too late and then we get to the point or where we're holding excess weight and we get to this point where we're like, I'm frustrated, I'm out of time, I feel like life's just on top of me, I'm going to go find the quickest fix I can, the thing I need to get me through so that I can deal with tomorrow rather than realising that you allowed it to go way too long before you started clicking in and trying to figure out what that shit is. So, <laughs> why do we take the long road to then end up trying to find this quick fix which ends up being quick sand and like Alice falling down the rabbit hole it ends up being this journey into this dark place or this this colorful place or this confusing place where suddenly there's all these random things you know how she's falling down and she sees this thing and she sees that thing and it's like life is like that because we're there going something doesn't feel right my body's not feeling good um but I don't know what to do and I'm down the rabbit hole and I'm, I'm like, what about this and what about that? And oh, maybe weight loss pills and oh, maybe this and am I celiac and am I allergic to gluten? Am I allergic to that? Does this actually do well for me? If I eat this, is this going to work for me or not? Am I paleo? Am I vegan? Am I a meat eater? Am I three meals a day, five meals a day? You know, I could, go, could totally go on right now. And so, so many people that I deal with or I talk to say to me, you know, Shana, I've spent years tuning into my body and, you know, I've, I've, I've practiced everything, I've tried everything and I know what works for my body. <laughs> How many years does it take you to get there, princess? <laughs> when we really get clear with it, it's like, you, of course, you can tune into yourself. You can sit there and spend time figuring it out. Like I knew that I was wheat intolerant and lactose intolerant because I sat there and spent months actually years back in 2009 2010 and I was like oh maybe I'm intolerant and my friend's like I know how you can tell without going to the doctors and doing tests you could just do two weeks of no gluten and then eat a loaf of bread or eat a heap of bread and I was like oh okay so I did that yeah for shiz I knew I was totally intolerant same with dairy and I was like oh I get to go through and trial and error and figure out whether I'm actually intolerant or not or whether it's actually in my environment or is it in my mind or is it in something else that's actually not even what you're thinking is relevant. <laughs> so how long are we wasting? How long are we prepared to waste trialing and erroring, figuring ourselves out in regards to what to eat, training, mindset, lifestyle, avatars in business, business choices, lifestyle choices, family situations, right the way down to the fact that, you know, oh, my own grievance with my family is I know my mother, I love her, I'm glad she's not on Facebook because she would shit me off, but my mother is living in a part of Australia which is actually killing her. So has like severe rheumatoid arthritis, uh, a couple of other arthritises, high blood pressure, this thing, that thing, this thing. The woman rattles when she walks. Yet she is so stubborn and stuck in her ways, she couldn't possibly conceive of the fact that I know. Because once you know, you can't unknow that where she's living, living in South Australia, where it is freezing cold at night and the, the cold season is like chill blain, freezing cold. And when it's hot, it's like disgustingly hot. And yet here in Queensland, I can walk around in shorts and a singlet oh, all year round, pretty much. And, and I'm fine, like my body loves it and I know her body would love it. But you can only read, li, read, you can only read a horse to water. You can only lead a horse to water. You can't force them to drink. And my family are the greatest mirror reminder of that. So how many of us are wasting time trying to figure ourselves out and guessing? And yeah, you might get to a point where you go, oh, I can't have avocados and I can't have tomatoes and I, I can't have these things. 
you know, I've, I've tested myself and I've tested myself. But can I let you know this? If you change your gene uh, geographical location, if you change your direct environment, if you went from single to in a relationship, if you went relationship to single, if you went um, not pregnant to pregnant, if you went um, training in the morning to training at night, your body, your mind, your energy, your clarity, everything will completely change whether or not you're intolerant to that thing and how your body responds to those stresses. So understand this, you can sit here and waste time spending years figuring yourself out or you could do the program that I run around health, wellness and lifestyle and understand that in 45 minutes to an hour, you get access to it all. You actually get to understand what people spend half of their life trying to figure out and then the seasons change and then everything changes and you've got to start from square one sometimes what you knew isn't quite feeling right anymore like hey i'm fine with cucumbers during the summer <laughs> and then the winter time comes and because we get vegetables and fruit all year round we end up with vegetables and fruit uh, we end up with what we think is fine for us then not being fine for us for a few months and then you're questioning whether you've got an intolerance hmm. did you create did do you then react as though you're then intolerant to those foods and take them all away from yourself and then the next season comes up and your body's like hey i kind of want that back i can kind of have that now like right like just because your body you think your body is intolerant to something it may only be for that moment in time it may only be in that environment or whilst your body is in that unhealthy state so a lot of my clients like our endomorphs that come into the program will go oh, you mean i can't have all of this no oh, i can't have all this food because your body is putting your your body puts all the data into the machine of which i utilize in my program and the machine goes Ignoring all of your emotional chit chat and your habitual lifestyle requirements and likes and dislikes, this is actually what your genes, what your environment and your lifestyle are screaming. This is what your body is screaming for. And it's up to you to choose to listen or else you end up in dis-ease, right? Dis-ease is how it all happens. So sure, Go ahead, I've written notes. <laughs> Go ahead and spend time trying to figure yourself out. Months, weeks, years. And then you might be like, yeah, I'm intolerant. And then something else will come up and something else will come up. It's like a never-ending revolving door. What I love is now within the program is we, you guys get an app on your phone that goes with you throughout the whole seasons. If you change location, all these friends moving to Bali, all these friends moving to other countries. If you change locations, you just change your location in the app. And all the foods, all the time frames, all the requirements shift with you, which is really cool, right? So it's an it's a artificial intelligence. It's your own best friend, your own little food rah-rah team, your own little health and lifestyle rah-rah team that are like, hey, change location, check this out, right? And it's going in some amazing places. So this is now the time to really step up into health and wellness and personalized health. And start making life easier for yourself, right? Let's stop with like drawing things out. Let's just actually understand there's actually really a quick way to figure yourself out and live your ultimate healthier self. So if this is you and you're like, yeah, I'm done. I'm done with the guessing. I'm done with the long time frames. I've been guessing myself over and over and over and over and over again. I'm finished. I just want to get it right. Then give us a call. Give us a message. Pop your name below or send me a private message and we can have a conversation and see where you're at what your goals are, what's come up for you before, and whether or not this is the position for you to move forward in the future. Because I only want to work with people that are actually ready to get your life fully on track, to actually fully live out your healthiest, greatest self in all aspects of your life. Have a great day, guys.